The latest developments now on Rhode Island's road to reopening. Many of you may be anxiously awaiting an announcement about when phase three will begin, especially with the 4th of July holiday approaching. But with the rising cases in other states, that means this holiday could come with some changes. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nesbitt has more on what the governor revealed today. Governor Gina Raimondo says she'll be making an announcement Monday when it comes to travel restrictions in Rhode Island, five days before the biggest holiday of the summer. The governor announced Friday that there are less than 100 COVID-19 hospitalizations for the first time since March. We really have an excellent trend. Warning Rhode Islanders to still use caution as the state prepares for the possible start of phase three next week. We are foolish to think we're out of the woods, the crisis is over, and we can go back to life as normal. Travel restrictions in Rhode Island could change starting Monday, as states in the south, such as Texas and Arizona, struggle with record cases of the coronavirus. Likely to do something around that. In fact, I want to do something around travel restrictions for people traveling from other states to Rhode Island. Possibly following suit with governors in New Jersey, Connecticut, and New York, who jointly issued a travel advisory requiring people arriving from states with high coronavirus rates to quarantine for 14 days. AAA expects Americans will take 700 million trips from July to September, down 15 percent compared to last summer. People are kind of using that wait and see attitude and 97 percent of those who are making the decision to travel are doing so by car. Governor Raimondo says that she also expects to make an announcement next week involving large gatherings. The governor reminded Rhode Islanders that going into the weekend, crowds are limited to no more than 15 people and that masks and social distancing are still required in public. Reporting from the control room, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.